good up here. It's <laughs> not good. It's snowing. That's an old one. So we can cut the cut again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking money on it. Cool lines. Look and draw. Uh, Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred? Yeah, two hundred. Two hundred. With with uh, chip set. Chip yeah, with like like caramelising. Chip ball. Out of the state. Oh, fucking cute for me, yeah. Look at the worm, it cooks well. Yeah, see this is not kosher, it's got a big worm that went through the whole motherfucker. Mmm, good. Oh, um. Good. Wow. Yeah, look at the seagull. Red Hey, boys. Hello. That's basically, come over here dude. That's basically where, that's kind of my, this is a hit club right here, called Sahara Nightclub. The oh, opening yeah. is really tiny club, the opening was made by Led Zeppelin in 1972 no or something like that. Okay, so you have to find the thing a bit here, the edition. Okay, super, merci. Hey! Yo! Yo! Acrylic. 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 Yeah, no heating inside, no elevators, nothing. Where is it? Who lives there? Only like immigrants, new immigrants really? from Portugal and stuff. And uh, a waste of a building. Say, what? Or a waste of a building. Yeah, because there's no, there's nothing. Elevator, no central heating, no hot water, nothing. So this is a really like poor neighborhood. Even it's right on really? the sea, right, right on the water. I don't think so, would you? They crumb in buildings. So, so only someone buy it, develop it, make it. Because uh, uh, you can get them out. There's these quarter oh. laws here. Remember, oh. I told you that they used to burn my building three times, and I used to wake up in the middle of the night, yeah. smoking a joint. I said, "Well, I get three o'clock in the morning, yeah. I'll be like smoking a joint in bed." And I go, <laughs> "I say, wow, how much smoke I can make? That's really cool." It's completely dying. I go, <laughs> "Look, even more smoke." And I say, "Wow, the room is completely full with smoke. That's really cool." Yeah. Then I look through the window and I see flames. <laughs> I thought I was making the smoke with my big joint. And actually, I see huge flames that try to burn the building to get all the people out. So they did that three times. So, so yeah, so and the only guy that to be to be awake at three, four in the morning was me. Yeah. So by the third time, I called the fire trucks. They sent me the police because they thought I was putting the place on fire and then calling the fire trucks. Right. You understand? Yeah. Basically, they're trying to get all those cheap tenants out because of the squatting laws. Yeah. You know, in Geneva, you have to if you go into a building, you can get these people out. This is this. The biggest squatters after London in the punk period was Geneva. Yeah. The the guys from Killing Jokes, yeah. they, they came here to a squat, they stayed here in months, they liked it so much and they used to play almost every night down in the basement of the squat. Right. It was the biggest concentration of punk and skinheads in the in the early 80s after Whoa. London. Right. After London. The lake. Fucking big lake, yeah. Yeah, no, it was really far. <laughs> Really, really far to the other side. On that side, it's France. Normally, we tell the mountain of the Alps over here, which we can't see today because it's too clouded. And that's the most expensive neighborhood in Geneva, it's called Colony. All the richest people live there. The, the what you see on the other side of it, there's a United Nations building. 
You see the one next to the long yeah. one? Yeah. There's like an Art Deco building. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? I like to walk around the uh, harbour sometime, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I love looking at the outdoors over there. I love looking at boats and stuff. I'm a big yeah. fan of boats, yeah. man. That's the yacht. The story, the story was true. And what happened is to take all the rich Jews. That's another one. But that's a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so basically they used to, um, so that's what Byron used to live with Mary Shelley when she wrote uh, yeah, yeah. Frankenstein in that house. Oh, wow, well, yes, incredible. Uh, so you would feel like you said we're saying that, you think it would be a shrine to the, uh, the story of Frankenstein. It would say, Nobody this is know. where Frankenstein was no, written, right? they did, they put a rock over here saying, uh, well, because so it's, it's a view of uh, looking at, let me see, I don't know what's stuff. What does it say? I don't know, in a sec. A Byron or something, like 100 years of Byron. Oh. J'ai pas mis les clés de la maison de la voiture après 4 heures qu'on a fait les cons ici dans l'herbe. Ouais. J'ai dit le truc. J'ai regardé, regarde. Come on this way, man. Check this, check this out. Ah, de moi, on m'a volé des trucs et je veux savoir c'est qui qui nous a volé. Alors, demande à ton frère. Ah, Vas-y, il va parler, il va parler sur la pierre. Yeah, my horror stories. Yeah, and this is where Mary, Mary Shelley uh, came up with this story, One Stormy Dark Night, uh, to create the story of Frankenstein. I think you made a you really no, it was, it was a Frankenstein, it was the horror of the tragedy of Frankenstein, it was called. Yeah, the light. Point in it. The light. Oh, the light, the light, the fucking light. So go ahead. Is that light better though, when the lightning came yeah. down? So, well, we would say, so say the same thing. No, just so I'm not going to repeat story? myself. Yeah, that was it. So the story of Frankenstein, she wrote it here. That's right. And the I just explain that, with, with, but with the bad light, with the good light, it's the no, same thing. But no. you know, a bit of light ain't gonna kill. Yeah, there right. you go. So well, she must be looking over here. They were already bored. I would think, apparently they were well, stuck here. This is far from the city, so nothing yeah. to do here. But they were stuck, I think when they stuck here for some time, yeah. because of the bad weather, Probably. nothing else to do. So they were so bored, they just write stories and try to find each other. Yeah. And um, yeah, so she uh, came up with the uh, story that turned out to become a history. But what's surprising to me is that this place is not a homage to that fact. Yeah. Would you think, you know, you think like uh, this place would be like a museum to that, you know? No, One no. of the greatest Hollywood, uh, you know, characters, you know, um, oh, well, we of all time, monsters, here. there should be some guy, you know, selling tickets, making a buck. Yeah. I'm saying, I sound like you now, don't I? <laughs> trying to make money, but uh, to me it's a privilege, because, you know, Frank, the Frankenstein story uh, have always, uh, has always been, uh, been uh, in, inside yes, me, you know, uh, yeah. always loved it, you know, Boris Karloff, uh, first horror film I ever saw, Bride of Frankenstein. Mm. And with Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. No, I saw the Bride of Frankenstein first. Then it was uh, the original uh, m uh, James Well movie. I did like the one with De Niro. You didn't De Niro, like well, that was okay. Um, you know, whatever. Anything to do with uh, the monster is kind of cool. Yeah. But uh, it's interesting interpretation. I think ruined for me was uh, was uh, um, you know when they were stuck in the snow and the, yeah. and the, and the pol polar polar region. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no there's no mist. There's no. Uh, do you know what I mean? It was yeah. no, there was a yeah, like dry ice. Yeah. The, the you, think, you, think, think, you think with the digital days they could have put some like you know smoke yeah. coming out or something? But just see, you know, that didn't convince me particularly. No, but I didn't think that you know that uh, Frankenstein talked like this. You know, not so much things, uh, like, but things remembered. You know, didn't talk like that, did he? Good okay. makeup though. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. But the story was true to the real story actually. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think I think uh, dinner is okay, but it would be nice to have some unknown, an unknown uh, actor for the part, so you wouldn't, you know, keep some kind of mystery, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, we got great Frankenstein. I would have. Uh, Frankenstein. Dracula. People say people say the argument that uh, it's not it's not uh, the yeah. it's not that you know it wasn't uh, Frankenstein wasn't the monster, but he was. He was a Frankenstein. He was Frankenstein, the son of yeah. the creation of you know. So there yeah, you go. Looking bad guys. What's, what is this? Put on your head. What a piece of my head for? Hey, hey, uh, Swiss, uh, Geneva condoms. Yeah. Ooh, life, ooh. Lifetime, gar lifetime guarantee, condom. Oh, man. He doesn't, he doesn't know what that's been. <laughs> 24 hours ago, I want to visit it. Nothing to do with Nothing to do with this. <laughs> okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Yeah, nice view. Yeah, very nice view, yeah. <coughs> Bless you. You see, that's where I was hiding up there when he came to kill them. Oh, right, yeah. yeah.
Yeah. When he was in the attic and he came down. But well, I don't know what it should maybe, be. Maybe, maybe it happened in this house, because the house in the cell was outside of Geneva. Mm. So it's probably here, the story happened actually here. And he went to the swamps of Club Palais over there to... Yeah. And it's in the swimming trunks to, yeah. to just do some skiing. Some hiking. What happened? We got several of sun <laughs> on the cloudy day. We got sunshine on the cloudy day. It's a song, isn't it? I've got sunshine, baby, and a cloudy day. Oh, the Mustang. Yeah, exactly. Two of the greatest, man. Fuck. Yeah. So I was asking to see some pictures and stuff. It's cool. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's interesting, man. Bit of a homage there. Yeah. You had no idea it happened here, huh? Huh? You didn't know it happened this way in Geneva, that's sorry. Yeah, somewhere a little bit like that. It's cool, it's not. I got a message. A message for you, Rudy. A message for you. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know if this is a roundabout. Or what do you, I don't know. It's, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah, but you don't want to kill people. No. Yeah, it's a wood. Yeah, it's a wood. What kind of wood is that? Oh, I wonder yeah. if I find it. It's actually the same. I was uh, two classes underneath uh, Mr. Highlander. You know Highlander? Yes. The actor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Shepard. Uh, so, it was, I was two classes. Paul Lambert. Yeah, it was two classes underneath him. It's cool. I was in the same class with the daughter of uh, downtown, la 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 la, downtown, Petula Clark. Really? He had a cute daughter, yeah, she, she lived in here. Because of tax purposes yes. in the 70s, so was the Queens, David Bowie, the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, yes, uh, who else? Black Sabbath, a certain point. Big bands. A friend of mine who works for the Lloyd Bank here and decided, yeah. yeah, let's go get all the fucking bands and put them running in Switzerland. Right. So they have to live here, to live here for a certain amount of time? Yeah, yeah. So they're all here. Oh, well, like well, the it's well, around 68, 69, 27, 2, 3, 4. Uh, Phil Collins lives in Geneva. When I came back from New York last time, I found him was here in the same plane. Right. David Bowie is here. Uh, Rick Wakeman from the is still here. Uh, pretty much everybody. All the big bands. Switzerland because of my friend only. Hey, we're gonna go to another one of the school, high school, where they kicked me out finally. So my mother, she's not. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Have the door. Too late. Like, you missed it. No, oh, it's a fucking car. Proof, <laughs> not <laughs> missed it. Well, they're looking for you. They're waiting for you. It's like.